Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, today is the 21st Sunday in ordinary time ye be. We thank God for being alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Our Bible reading today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, from verse 60 to 69. And our topic is, Lord, to whom shall we go? Lord, to whom shall we go? In most of our sharing on this platform, we focus on statements or questions put forward by our Master. But today, our topic is a question from the disciples of our Lord. And it is a very serious question from the leader of the disciples, Simon Peter, to their master. Our Lord started speaking about deep things in our relationship with God. He spoke about the Spirit. He spoke about the flesh. And that though salvation is a free gift from God, not many are able to accept the offer. Some of the followers of our Lord Jesus Christ considered the teachings too hard, so they stopped following the Master. The Master asked the remaining people if they would also go away. The answer of Peter was also a question, where else shall we go? Where else shall we go? Or who else can we follow as a Master? This question proves to us that Peter and the remaining disciples have come to the conclusion that there is no alternative to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hear me very well. There is no alternative to our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other Savior. Salvation and eternal life are only available in Him and through him hallelujah amen peter by that question is saying that the lord is their only option he alone has the solution he alone has the solution he alone has the solution hallelujah amen brothers and sisters in christ do you have other options do you have other alternatives to the lord jesus christ when it comes to matters of salvation, when it comes to eternal life. He told us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. He is, he is not just an option. He is the only option from the beginning to the end. Hear me again. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way. He is not just an option. He is the only option from the beginning to the end. People may pursue what they consider as other options in matters of life and eternity. They may follow false gods and philosophies, but Jesus is the only way. He is the answer. He is the solution. No other way. Ask yourself today, if you have other options in matters of living, in matters of salvation, in matters of eternal life. If you do, then you have missed the road. We must make up our mind. We must make up our hearts fully and finally that there is no other alternative to our Lord Jesus Christ. Child of God, you that is hearing this message, be focused. Don't be distracted. God give us help to be steadfast. May the Lord help us to be able to be steadfast in following him, the master, without looking elsewhere, without looking back, without being distracted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. To the glory of God, this message is for us. For you that have heard this message, I pray that you will be focused. I pray that you will not be distracted. 
I pray that the Lord will strengthen us in our living, in the way that we live, so that we will not go and look for any other option, so that we will not go and look elsewhere. Jesus is the way, the only way, the only solution. May the Lord give us understanding in the name of Jesus. Amen. Happy Sunday and have a fruitful week ahead. You are highly blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.